Alright guys, so today I'm doing a little unboxing on the Scruff Gaming Trigger Combo. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. My little doll knife. It's right here. A lot smaller package than I thought it would be. <clears throat> Hopefully it works out good. If you don't know what trigger stoppers are, then you'll see it in this video. So as it came with these little grips. Put the pop right onto the Xbox One controller. So they should work like this, I guess. <coughs> yeah. Like that, I think. Uh, okay, I see what it is. I think it's two separate. There you go. It's two different grips. It, it comes with regular grip. It comes with two sets of grips. They got these regular ones and then the other ones, which are have the adjustable trigger stoppers in them. So I guess these just pop right off. Okay, but it include the, I know usually they include the tool for it, so let me look and see. Yeah, they have the tool right here. They have the tool right here. That should just pop these pedals right off. And that didn't work. I don't really want to break this controller. Okay. Only controller I have right now. Come on, I'm trying to be a little gentle. Here we go. So right now this just comes right off like that. I'm gonna do both of them. Just pop right off. Make sure the clips aren't broken. Otherwise, when you go back to switch them back, you have broken clips and you'll be very surprised, I guess you could say, right? And then these should just pop right on. Just like that. They look pretty neat to me. I like them. I like how they feel. And I like how it comes with two different type of grips. I didn't know that. They come with the regular ones without the trigger stoppers, as you can see. Without the little screw hole. And then they come with these. Which is one with the trigger stopper in, so I just gotta put this one on. So there you go. These ones, have, these ones have the trigger stoppers in them. You can see there's like a little screw. Now, I'm not sure if they include the trigger plug thing, which they should, which is right here. Whatever that is, I'll try to figure out whatever that is. I don't want to mess with that until I figure out exactly what it is. So they have this here, <clears throat> but I'm just gonna get right to it and kind of. Uh, I think I think they already adjusted a little bit because I'm not sure if Xbox all the like usually went all the way down there. I heard these little screws are so delicate and you gotta be very careful with them. So try not to break the tool neither because the tool looks very fragile. Okay, so they make a big difference. They make a very big difference, which is pretty nice. I usually I only order these just to see like kind of how they are, just to kind of experiment it. I mean, I don't really care for it. I'm gonna use them obviously because I have them, but it wasn't something that I must have. Pretty cool though. I like this feature. they're pretty good for a shooter game mostly but it's alright because I might not be using my controller for a lot of um, racing games anyway I have the stereo converter now can't even see the screw oh that's not a bad thing so as you can see it took off a, a lot of space 
it doesn't really go anywhere. I would pop them off and show y'all, but let me see if it's easy to pop off. And I'm not I'm gonna just leave them on. But the grips were pretty good, like back here. You're able to choose your color off of Amazon. Hopefully y'all don't see this over here. But yeah, you're able to choose your color off of Amazon. To me, it's pretty nice. It's gonna, gonna take a little getting used to the trigger stoppers in it. So now I have three sets of these little paddles. Again, another control. I could put the other ones on. I can put these ones on. <clears throat> like I said, they come with two sets. So this is the regular set without the little hole in it for the trigger stoppers. And these ones is on it. Have the trigger stoppers in it. The little hole, wherever it is. Right there. And that's just for the Allen key hole. And I'm going to try my best to put this up somewhere where I'm not going to lose it. I think I already know where I'm going to put it. Uh, I'm going to read about this now. While I'm on camera, let's try to see what that's I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but I'm gonna look up. So, let me see. Yeah, that's it. I'm not sure if you have to really, if you really have to use this to this whatever this is. Because I didn't, and to me, it's fine. So, let me check one more time. But I don't want to do it, and then not really need it, or yeah, whatever. Let's just remove this one, this one, and see what, like, if you really need it. Like, if it looks like it's going to be easy to put on, or whatever. So, I don't even know where it goes. I feel like it goes down like that. But then at the same time, I feel like it doesn't. But then I kind of feel like it goes over. Hmm, it's weird. I don't know. But y'all can look it up for yourself if y'all need help with that part. Because I need help with it myself. And yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, I feel like it goes in here like that. And then just six on like that. And whatever that goes, I don't know. Maybe it breaks into two, I don't know. But I'm not gonna use it. I don't think it's mandatory to use it. I'm gonna pop the other grip back on and get to playing. Oh, but look, since it's off, look how much play it has compared to when you put on this the stopper. And I'll just watch. After I pop it on. There's a lot of play. It goes away a lot. And this controller, when I first got it, that's what I realized the most. The whole, con the whole controller is so free on that last one. But with these, they feel a lot better. So, alright guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I'm going to go play right now on Black Ops 3.